Good morning from a great and gloomy Whitby. Whitby Abbey up there. You join me for day five of the Cleveland Way. Well, I'm having no luck with this late summer weather, am I? I mean, it's a bit cooler today, a bit windier today. And I don't think it's, we're going to see any sun whatsoever, according to Mr. Weatherman. Right, so by my calculations, the penultimate day is a 22 mile walk, not 20 like I thought yesterday. So I'm on the road a little bit earlier this morning. The place where I was staying didn't do breakfast. So uh, I nipped into Greg's, got myself a sausage, a sausage cob, not roll as they put on their side. Um, and I've uh, just making my way up and towards the coastal paths. So I think it's mostly foggy weather and windy weather that's been predicted today. But, you know, as I said yesterday, it's all about the adventure. So let's see what the day brings, shall we? Oh, I've just found a sheltered spot from the wind. It's really gusty today. Um, I've got probably eight hours of walking in this too. I think the biggest challenge today, as well as covering the miles, is stopping the hat from blowing over the barbed wire <laughs> into the fields where it'd be irretrievable. <laughs> so, accommodation update. Step back a bit, I'm gonna have to talk to you where I've got breaks from the wind today. <laughs> right, so last night, where did I stay? What was it called? That, that was at the Granby Hotel. Um, I think hotel's quite a grand name, it was a pub <laughs> that, that let roofs out. Um, it was fine, you know. Um, I wouldn't have fancied eating in the pub. It was, it was a, you know, quite an old fashioned type of pub. You know, people coughing away <laughs> in the corner going outside for a crafty vape, that kind of place. Um, but the rooms were absolutely fine. Um, there was quite a funny sign on the door though, which I posted on Facebook, uh, but made me chuckle. It was like this list of rules. Uh, and one of them was, uh, um, you know, basically if, if you foul the bed, you'll be fine. So I just thought, oh, <laughs> what has happened on this bed prior to me staying here? Anyway, it was fine, um, perfectly comfortable, good night's sleep had. Um, would I recommend it? Well, I wouldn't stay there if um, for any other reason. When I'm on these types of adventures, it's, it's about, you know, what, what's best for the budget that I want to, I want to pay. Um, as long as it's comfortable and it's not got horrendous trip advisor reviews, then I'll, I'll, I'll give it a go. There we are. The Granby Hotel. I hope none of these need the toilet. It could get quite messy. <laughs> right, we best touch on the subject of the charity fundraiser. I need to say a ginormous massive thank you. So I think at the end of yesterday's video I mentioned I was about a hundred pound from the uh, the target that we'd set but thanks to some very generous people um, who watch these videos the target's now been surpassed so as I said yesterday you're all absolute legends and I can't thank each and every one of you enough for your generosity. Um, it's one of the good things about social media actually, there's a lot to dislike with social media but you know people who watch these videos who've made the donations who they've never met before but as I said you're absolute legends thank you very much. I'm sure Steph and her husband Steve will also be really grateful for the uh, uh, the money that we've raised for the charity that they support. 
Thanks again. Um, I should have mentioned um, I will keep the charity fundraising page open even though we've passed the target. You know, it's all about uh, obviously raising as much money as I can for the Walton Centre. So if you still would like to donate, then um, the link will be in the video description. I hate saying that. That sounds like a real cheesy YouTuber line, doesn't it? But where else can I put the link other than in the description? <laughs> Just passing the point where the coast to coast route joins the coastal path um, to make its way to the end point in Robin Hood's Bay, which is about three miles away now. We're in the mist now and drizzle. <laughs> the Cleveland Way weather gods have definitely not been as kind to me as the Pennine Way weather gods were three years ago. They're not my friend. <laughs> Here's the best views of the trip so far. Don't say I don't spoil you. I'll take you on these walks with me, treating you to some amazing scenery. Right, so we've just climbed out of a uh, of Robin Hood's Bay. Um, I decided not to stop there and uh, have tea and cake. Um, I just rested my feet for five minutes. I had a chat to a few people who just finished the coast to coast. Um, I think I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm about three miles from Raven's car and there's a tea rooms there from what I remember. Well, I definitely remember. <laughs> which I'll elaborate on when we get to it, but um, yeah, it's only about half 11, so uh, and I think that's the halfway point for today as well, so uh, yeah, we'll stop there and see what tempting treats they have on offer. Oh, fantastic, we've got cows that have escaped onto the footpath. Bloody nightmares. I was taking no chances there. I hopped over the fence and walked through that farmer's field just to get past them. I thought, well, I thought, yes, they might let me through, but the alternatives are one could nudge me off the cliff top or they could just squash me. So, yeah. The sacrifices, though, soaking wet feet. So, bloody bovine, I was going to say gate blockers, but they're bovine path blockers today. <laughs> I'm distracted again by this amazing foggy woodland. Stunning. I to keep reminding myself I haven't got time to uh, stop around taking photos. But I want to. I wish I'd got my other camera and a tripod with me because uh, I mean, this fog's around all day. I could spend hours in here. That was a much needed rest stop. Nice 20 minutes in there. Bit of food, a cup of tea. Changed the socks because my feet were soaking wet. Um, although I'm absolutely disgusted with myself. Um, I used the word scone. Um, I asked the lady behind the counter what warm food they could do and uh, she said, oh, we can warm you a cheese scone up. I thought at that point, I thought, I can't use the word scone now. But honestly, I'm disgusted with myself. There'll be people at work, they'll never let me live that one down. I mean, 
as I keep telling them, there's an E on the end of scone. If, the, if there wasn't, then it'd be a scone. <laughs> So this is a little bit of a bittersweet moment. This little bird lookout post just down from Raven's car is where part one of my 2020 adventure came to an end. Um, I remember walking down there um, you know, in loads of pain. I was hobbling basically. <laughs> um, and I looked ahead and I could see I'd got quite a sharp climb back up onto the, uh, uh, the higher parts of the cliff top. Another 10 miles to go. Um, it had taken me hours to get there already and I thought, no, it's just not safe to carry on. <laughs> so I'm pleased to make it past that part. I mean, today I have absolutely no idea what lies ahead because I can see barely seeing more than about 10 yards in front of me so I'd have probably blindly carried on <laughs> if it was the same scenario this time round. I hope none of these idiots have escaped onto the path this time because I'm in trouble. There's either an electric fence to go over that way or just drop down into the sea that way. <laughs> What's worse? So I'm at mile 15, seven miles to go today. I feel like I'm in one of those cartoons where the character's moving but the scenery never changes. <laughs> Honestly, I think it's just like, I feel like I've seen the same thing now for the last uh, couple of hours. Just a blanket of white with an occasional thing to break up the monotony, like a hay bale. <laughs> That's a nice little detour there just to check out the waterfall at Hayburn Wick. So not much flowing over it because uh, we haven't had loads of rain of late. One of the nicest things about today is the uh, just some of the little woodlands that you kind of drop in and out of as you kind of come on and off the coastal path. And this one's beautiful. Some real gnarly oaks in this one. Oh, I'm going to take five and enjoy the views. My feet are aching. Well, I think that's the uh, final rest stop for today. Just wanted five minutes just to uh, take a bit more food on board and elevate the feet because they're feeling a bit tired today. I think the, uh, the effects of five long back-to-back -back mileage days of... Uh, take the toll on the feet. Albeit, I remember the same happening on the Pennine Way, you know, getting back to the accommodation thinking, oh God, I don't think my feet can get through a, another, another one of those long days, but I'm surprised resting them up, having a good night's sleep and uh, tend to feel all right again the next day. It's only when you get to the latter part of the day that the uh, foot fatigue kicks in again. These handrails are a godsend down these uh steep descents. Well this one's a bit rickety. I think I'll make a tourist information video whilst I'm passing through Scarborough. Come and visit. Look at those beautiful golden sands. Waves crashing on the beach. 
flags gently blowing in the breeze. Not a soul in sight for miles. Paradise, just a flight away. I'll take my commission later, Scar Scarborough Tourist Board, when all the transatlantic jet setters start coming over. Enjoy a stroll along the seafront. Take your dog for a walk. Soak in that sea air. Beautiful. Right, I've made it at last, at long, long last, to Scarborough. 22 miles today. Foot, nearly four and a half thousand feet of ascent. No wonder my legs are aching. I mean, there was a lot of changes in elevation today. Um, with zero views the entire way, but hey ho, it is what it is. Um, when I got into Scarborough, the weather turned absolutely vile. <laughs> the rain came in and winds really picked up. And my accommodation is uh, on the tops, so I had to kind of trudge up the um, up that kind of long winding path from the seafront to uh, to the top road where the accommodation was. Anyway, what that means is tomorrow is a much shorter day. I think I've only got about 11 miles to get to the finish. And when I last checked, the weather was looking much nicer for tomorrow. Uh, talk of sunshine, who knew? But we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens when I, uh, uh, when I get up in the morning. Anyway... Thanks very much for watching today. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I'll pop the link to the charity fundraiser in the video description, so there's still time for anybody who'd like to donate. But until then, I'll see you all tomorrow for the final day to file it. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.